the tale of two remodelers, what I've kind of set up here is we have some homeowners and we have two remodelers. And I'm going to tell you just a little bit of story about how these homeowners have kind of walked through the sales process with these two remodelers. So the people you're looking at on the screen is Kathy and Chris. So a little bit about Kathy and Chris. They're a husband and wife, live in a good-sized town. They just moved uh, this past year because of a job change that Chris had. They're starting to get to know some of the local people and businesses, but don't really have a lot of relationships established yet. They bought a home that they knew they were going to remodel, and the time has come for them to get started on their kitchen remodeling project. They've done a little bit of research online. Chris has spoken to a couple colleagues at work about the project, and Kathy's been talking to a few of her new friends about what they're looking to have done. That's Kathy and Chris, kind of where they're at, which is they are getting ready to embark on a kitchen remodeling project. And as you wise people have figured out, there's two remodelers. This is a fictitious tale, but I think as we move through it, what you're going to see is that this story is played out in our remodeling industry every day. What I'll be really curious to see is which of these two remodeling companies remind you most of your business. So kind of be looking at it that way. So the first company in our story is Cornerstone Construction. We'll refer to them as Cornerstone throughout our story. Cornerstone has been in business for 15 years, and that person you're looking at is the owner, Tom. So Tom has done business for 15 years. He does most of the sales work for the company. He has a production manager. He has one carpenter out in the field. In his office, he has an office manager slash bookkeeper. Most of the production work is done through a trusted group of trade partners or subcontractors that they've had a great relationship with for years. A little over $1.5 million in annual sales, and the type of work he's doing are kitchens, bathrooms, additions, basements. So that's Tom with Cornerstone Construction. And then the second company in our story is Refined Remodeling, Bill with Refined Remodeling. So Bill has been in business for seven years, and Bill's business, Refined Remodeling, is very similar to Tom's. He's got a production and office manager, a little over 1.5 million annual sales, very similar in the type of work they're doing, kitchens, baths, additions, a little bit more exterior work in his case. So if you're following along, we have the homeowners, Kathy and Chris. We have two remodelers, Tom with Cornerstone and Bill with Refined. Now, what we're going to do with our story is walk you through the sales process that Kathy and Chris experience with Bill and with Tom. What we're going to see is that both of the remodelers are respectable and do quality work. But what we're going to see in the story are little differences between the companies, specifically around their sales process and their marketing system, that while they might seem small, make all the difference in who Kathy and Chris end up choosing for their project.